welcome back everyone, this is part 2 of the cat crochet long video. In part 1 we finished the head, embroidered the face, made the ears and sewed them to the head. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, start there, it's linked in the description box below. Let's just jump right in and start making the body. We're gonna start with a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet stages into the ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can pull the loop tightly closed. On the second round, we're going to crochet two single crochet stitches in each stitch around. I'm going to use the starting yarn tail as a marker here and pull it through the last stitch so I know where my round ends. On the third round, we're going to start with a single crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the second. One and two in the next. One and two. And we're going to repeat it all the way around. marker and we can start the fourth round on the fourth round we're going to start with an increase and then crochet one single crochet stage in the next two stages so two in the first one and two and we're going to repeat it all the way around On round 5 we're going to start with a single crochet in the first 3 stitches and then do the increase. 1, 2, 3 and 2 in the next. And we're going to repeat it all the way around. On rounds 9 through 9, so the next 4 rounds, we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. I'll meet you back here when we have the next 4 rounds done. And now we have the 4 rounds of single crochet stitches done. On round 10, we're going to start with a single crochet in the first stitch and then crochet the next 2 together. So, 1 and then do the invisible decrease. We're then going to crochet one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then do the next decrease. And we're going to repeat it three more times. And we finish around with a single crochet in the last three stitches. Two and three. Move up my marker here. On round 11, we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in each stitch around.
On round 12, we're going to start with a single crochet in the first six stitches and then do the decrease. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then do the invisible decrease. And we're going to repeat it two more times. And then finish around with a single crochet in the last stitch. And now it's time to start adding some stuffing. On round 13, we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. We're going to start round 14 with a single crochet in the first two stitches and then do the first decrease. So one, two, then do the invisible decrease. And then we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in the next five stitches. Three, four, five. And then crochet the next two stitches together. We're going to repeat it one more time. Yeah. And then finish around with a single crochet in the last four stitches. Two, three, and four. On round 15, we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around. And then I'm going to add a bit more stuffing. On round 16, we're going to crochet one single crochet in the first four stitches and then do the decrease. So one, two, three, four, and then do the invisible decrease. And we're going to repeat it four more times. And then finish around with a single crochet in the last stitch. And for rounds 17 through 19, so the last three rounds, we're going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch around. Meet me back here when you have the next three rounds done. And now we have the three rounds of single crochet stitches done. We're going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Cut off the yarn and fasten off. We're then going to go into the next stitch front to back and pull the yarn tail through and then go into the next stitch back to front, pull the yarn tail through and tuck it inside the body. And now we can finish stuffing the body.
and the body is done. Next we'll be making the arms and we're going to start with a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet stitches into the ring. On round 2 we're going to crochet 2 single crochet stitches in each stitch round. We're going to start round 3 with a single crochet in the first 3 stitches and then do the increase. So 1, 2, 3 and 2 in the next. And we're going to repeat it 2 more times. On rounds 4 through 8, so the next 3 rounds, we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. I'll meet you back here when we have the next 3 rounds done. And now we have the 3 rounds of single crochet stitches done. I'm going to mark the last stitch with a piece of yarn. And now it's time to start decreasing. We're going to start round 7 with a single crochet in the first 3 stitches and then crochet the next 2 together. So 1, 2, 3 and then do the invisible decrease. And we're going to repeat it 2 more times. Now it's time to stuff the hands. We're going to start round 8 with a single crochet in the first stitch and then crochet the next two together. So one and then do the invisible decrease. And we're going to repeat it three more times. On rounds 9 through 24, so the next 16 rounds, we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. I'm going to add a bit more stuffing here, so the hands are stuffed nice and firmly, but we're not going to be stuffing the arms. I'll meet you back here when you have the next 16 rounds done. And we have the arm done. We're going to go into the next stitch and make a slip stitch and then cut off the yarn. I'm not going to be leaving a long yarn tail for sewing here because I left one on the head that is long enough to sew the head to the body and sew the arms to the body as well. I'm going to go into the next stitch front to back and pull the yarn tail through and then go into the next stitch back to front and pull the yarn tail through and then I'm going to tuck it inside the arm. But if you prefer, you can leave a long yarn tail on each of the arms, legs and tail, so you can sew them to the body later. And then make the second arm just like the first one. Next we'll be making the legs, and we're going to start with a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet stitches into the ring. On round 2 we're going to crochet 2 single crochet stitches in each stitch around. We're going to start round 3 with a single crochet in the first 2 stitches and then do the increase. 
one, two, and then two in the next one, and two. And we're going to repeat it three more times. On rounds four through six, we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. I'll meet you back here when we have the next three rounds done. And we have our three rounds of single crochet stitches done. I'm going to mark the end of the round. And we can start with round seven. We're going to start round seven with a decrease and then crochet one single crochet in the next two stitches. So we're going to do the invisible decrease and then one single crochet in the next two. And we're going to repeat it three more times. Now we can stuff the feet. On round eight, we're going to start with a single crochet in the first stitch and then crochet the next two together. So we're going to do one and then do the invisible decrease. And we're going to repeat it three more times. I'm going to add a bit more stuffing. And then for rounds 9 through 24, so the next 16 rounds, we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. You want to stop after every two or three rounds to add a bit more stuffing. We're going to stuff the legs lightly. And I'll meet you back here when you have the leg done. And we have the leg done. We're going to go into the next stitch. And make a slip stitch. I'm going to leave an extra long yarn tail on one of the legs so I can sew both the legs and the tail to the body. We're going to fasten off. Go into the next stitch, front to back, and pull the yarn tail through. And then we can finish stuffing the leg. And then finish the second leg. And last we'll be making the tail. We're going to start with the magic ring, but this time we're going to crochet seven single crochet stitches into the ring. On round two we're going to crochet one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. After finishing the second round, push the right side out, it's much easier to work around it. And then we're going to keep crocheting one single crochet stitch in each stitch round until we have a total of 22 rounds. You want to stop after every two or three rounds to add a bit more fiber fill, stuffing the tail lightly.
and the tail is done. We're going to go into the next stitch and make a slip stitch. And then cut the yarn. We're going to go into the next stitch, front to back and pull the yarn tail through. And then go into the next stitch, back to front and pull the yarn tail through. And then we can tuck it inside the tail. And add a bit more stuffing. And now we have all the pieces done and it's time to start assembling the cat. First we're going to sew the head to the body. I'm going to thread the yarn tail onto a needle. When you look at where the last round ends, there's a little step there. And when joining two open pieces, you want to align those. I'm going to be using the mattress stitch here, but you can also use the whip stitch if you find that easier. There's a link in the description if you want to read up on those stitches. We're going to find the last stitch of the body and insert our needle on the right of that stitch. Go under it and bring the needle back up on the other side. And pull the yarn through. We're then going to go back into the same hole where our yarn tail is. And bring the needle back up through the next stitch. Then we're going to go on to the next stitch, just like we did before. And pull the yarn through. It's so much easier to see what you're doing if you don't pull the stitches tight right away. We're going to go back into the same hole where we brought up the yarn last time. And go under the next stitch. And pull the yarn through. Again, we're going to go into the same hole where we brought up the yarn last time. Go under the next stitch. And pull the yarn through. We're going to go into the head, into the same hole where we brought up the yarn last time. Go under the next stitch. And pull the yarn through. And then pull on the yarn tail to tighten the stitches. You can do this every three or four stitches or so. Go on to the next stitch. Pull the yarn through. And then go on to the next stitch. And pull the yarn through. And then just keep stitching going all around the opening. Before you close the opening, add a bit more stuffing. And then make the last stitch and come out to the side of the body, one row below the head. And now we're going to sew the arms to the sides of the body, placing them one row below the head. You can pin the arms to the body before sewing, but because they're so small, I'm not going to bother. Then go on to both loops of a stitch. And go back into the same hole where you brought up the yarn last time and bring the needle up below the next stitch. Now 
then go through the stitch inserting your needle under both loops then go back into the same hole where you brought the yarn up last time and bring it up under the next stitch and pull the yarn tail through then gonna go through the next stitch go back into the body in the same hole and bring it back up under the next stitch and pull the stitch tight and then just keep stitching going all around the arm When you make the last stitch, go through the body and bring it up on the other side, one row below the head. And then sew the second arm to the body just like the first one. Make the last stitch and come back out through the side of the body. To fasten the yarn tail you can just stitch through the body a couple of times going in different directions. But here's what I like to do to make it a bit more secure. When you come through the space between the stitches, take a look at the stitch right next to the space. And insert a needle under one loop of the stitch right next to that hole and pull the yarn through. You're then going to go back into the same hole and bring the needle back up at least a couple of stitches away. And you can repeat it a couple of times to make it extra secure. And then cut off the yarn close to the body. We're going to cross the arms and then take the arm that's on top and bend it going up under the other arm. The legs are going to go to either side of the third round. You can either pin them to place, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to pop a marker here so I know where they have to go. And then we're going to sew them to the body with whip stitch, just like the arms. And because I only left the yarn tail on one of the legs, I'm going to use the same yarn tail to sew the second leg to the body as well. And then I'm going to use the same yarn tail to sew the tail to the body as well. Placing it just above round three, just like the legs. And now we have the tail sewn to the body and we can hide the yarn tail just like we did before. Okay. 
and we're all done. I hope the video was easy to follow along, but if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you don't miss any of the crochet fun. If you like what I do and want to support me, check out my pattern and toy stores, I will leave a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.